Hello, my name is Roger Jugang, and I'm here with New Era Soccer Institute. I'm here with my man, Sean Stroh and Ivan Notar. How's it going? It's good, man. Everything's good. Not bad, not bad. It's a warm day. It's a warm day out here, here at ODU campus, Old Dominion University. Um, as far as I know, you kind of switched to go here, as a matter of fact, correct? Yeah, I graduated in uh, 2013. Um, played soccer here for five years, and uh, yeah, it's good. As a matter of fact, I still go here. I'm working on my uh, doctoral degree in higher education, but I played here, I played with Sean for three years. Um, I finished my career in 2015. 2015. Two years after. Not too long ago, not too long ago. Okay. Yeah. So what level did you play at, except for college? Did you play before college? Did you start in college? When did your love of soccer start? Well, I'm from Europe, I'm from Hungary, so uh, for me, it started there when I was very young. Uh, my dad is a soccer enthusiast. He's still going to games, and you know he's he really infected me with soccer. So I started when uh, when I was six years old. I started probably about the same age. Uh, my brother played the sport as well. He's two years older. Um, he actually ended up going to William and Mary to play soccer. I came here to the rival school ODU, and that's the history. Yeah, his brother his brother was really good. Really? Yeah. yeah he was you ever play against each other? We while, while you were here, he was like, well, you don't want to hear that story. We had some epic matchups. I don't know if we have time to get into it right now, but uh, yeah, no, we had some some epic high school matchups and uh, in college. Unfortunately, I, we we weren't on the field at the same time. Yeah, because um, he was a little bit older, and I was still kind of working my way up in the team. But um, you know, we faced each other's teams every year. Yeah, that was actually really cool. Like was, that family rivalry. Thing. Oh yeah, my That's mom cool. had the split jersey and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <What in the laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, half ODU, half Boy Mary. I was like, Mom, you really can't do that. <laughs> you know that. You know that. You know that. It should be all ODU. Like, it should, it should be just, all ODU. Yeah. I saw it. No, yeah. we'll talk. We'll clear it up. We'll get her a new jersey and everything. It'll be all ODU. Yeah. We'll make it work. Sort her out. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. So as you guys were growing up in soccer, who influenced you? What are some of the players that really challenged you to be a better player you looked up to? You know? See, I'm, I'm one of those kids who, and still am, a uh, soccer junkie. So I'm, I'm, I watched every game. I had the stickers album. I had the, the little games that you can. You, you guys don't know in America; it's not really a thing. But it's like a, it's like you can collect like little toys and you can play with it. It's like just like any other Barbie or whatever, but in soccer version, right? Yeah. So you can learn all these players' names. And when I started to use computers, I would use computer games to to learn and and to know the games. So like literally, I can name every result, big game result back in '90s. I'm I'm crazy about that. So. When you ask me who is my who is my mentor, it's really hard because I have so many oh, I have so many heroes yeah. that I that I have. But I would say the main one was uh, main one was actually not coming from soccer. It's not coming from soccer. I'm I'm a huge Kobe Bryant fan, huge Kobe Bryant fan. Oh, but everything everything about Kobe Bryant is is for me. It's like uh, I it's weird, but it's almost like he's my mentor. That's how I look at Passionate it. Passionate about Kobe for sure. Huh. What about you, Sean? Uh, so for me, I had I had a lot of great coaches growing up. Okay. Um, and, and looking back, I, I was very fortunate. Um, my dad coached soccer as well, so he was, you know, someone that always challenged me and always, you know, pushed me to another level. Um, my high school coach, Mike Anderson, was a big influence. Uh, my club coach, Ted Jones, who was a Welsh guy, was awesome influence. And then his favorite, uh, Dave Amsler, uh, who actually ran my club that I grew up playing with, um, he was he was a monster influence on me. You know, first guy that ever, you know, tore into me. You know, like really like tried to push me to the next level, and, and he did, he did, it's, it was important, cool. so I got a couple. Now, I think it's actually kind of interesting that I asked about players when you guys really jumped into the mentorship thing, which you're saying that's a huge part of your life. Would you say that's even the reason we're here? We're here for New Era Soccer Institute. Is that part of the reasoning? Like, you loved your mentor so much that the way they got you into soccer, the way they trained you, the way they pushed you, is that what you're trying to do for kids today? Yeah, see, it's, in, it's interesting because, um, when I was, and I, and I always answer a little longer, so excuse me for that, but um, when I started high school, I thought I'm only going to do high school. I'm going to finish high school and I'm never going to go to college. Then I'm gonna, I went to college, I thought I'm never going to finish, I'm just going to finish college and that's it. And then I finished my college degree and then I got my master's and now I'm a doctor. Same way in soccer. So I, I kind of, I kind of always just wanted to learn and learn and learn and learn. I never, never stopped. I never stopped learning. So for me, a mentorship is always... And, and the influences that I had was always the next step. So first it was all, you know, first I was, my mentors were like the best players who, who do the most tricks, like every other kid. 
The next one, when I realized that I wasn't the quickest, fastest, strongest, biggest guy on the field, I started to look into those players who are my type of players, who, who resemble my character, and I started to learn from them. Now that I'm a coach, now I'm looking at from the, the players who were good players, but now good coaches as well. So now I'm always trying to find mentors who are resembling my character and who I can really learn from. So I, I'm not really big into Kobe Bryant as an exception because he's obviously I'm never gonna be you know basketball player, never gonna be as legendary as he was. Uh, but usually when I'm when it comes to everyday life, I'm looking for mentors and influences that are um, you know kind of close to me and almost look like achievable. Okay. Yeah, for me, um, my coaches were always kind of like my idols. I was like, man, I, I would love to be in that position. They they always you know composed themselves really well. They were. Um, for, for me, community involvement was, was a really big thing, and they were always, you know, very active members of the community and, and things like that. And just, just to be able to command a group of, of, of young men or young women, whoever it is, um, was, like, really important to me. Um, so it was always something that I, I kind of knew that I would, I would dive into, you know, once I finished up my playing career. Um, so I, I actually started while I was in college. I started coaching, you know, some youth soccer and stuff like that. So it was, you know, it was something I've always been really passionate about. We both love the sport, and it's you know it's something we look forward to. You know, we love coaching, love coaching. It's a, it's a fun experience, and you know we like what we can bring out of the players and enjoy the environment. And you know, it's just he and I like hanging out too. Yeah. You know, so it, it works out well. It works out well. Ooh, okay. You know what? I, I like that. Yeah. I like that honestly, because I feel like now I'd be so I'd be so comfortable, you know, joining this because now I know your background. I know what pushes you, and I feel like that's the type of environment you guys nurture around when you join New Era. So would you, I would want you to tell me what differentiates New Era from anything else out there? I feel like there's so many soccer clubs, soccer organizations, but New Era seems different. Why would you say that it is different? Well, first and foremost, the, the most important thing which we ran into in the beginning is that people thought we want to be a club, we want to be a team. Uh, you know, they're like in basketball, they're AAU teams that are traveling around. We're not of that. Uh, we are not a club. Um, we are not a team, we are an, I call it, and we call it usually umbrella organization, um, a one-stop shop, uh, which we eventually want to be. We are an extracurricular uh, soccer organization. That means that we take any club players, any team's players, any area's players into our organization, and we want to make them better. That's a very simple idea. We want to make them better. And uh, what, we are, what we are different is that we are not looking at the general and uh, maybe it's a little bit bad word, but typical way of how to develop players. Um, a lot of people claiming that they are looking at soccer in a little different way, what we actually do. Uh, we wanna offer a package to a player when they come into our doors uh, that has not only the soccer development part, but has the personality development part, the character development part, um, the school part, the education part, college prep part. Um, that's why we are working with specialists like you guys. Uh, we, you know, we could be sitting here and, 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 and doing our own videos, but we are not doing that because we trust the specialties. We trust the special people who are good in their areas, and we want to bring it in to our institution. And that's what makes it different. We're not thinking that we know everything, but what we do know, we want to be the best in that. I was going to say, what, what I think makes us different is that we, we try and stay current, and we try to stay evolving all the time. You know, you you've been in a situation where you know somebody's been doing the same thing year after year after year we, we try to do things different and he he does a great job of, of keeping us updated and keeping us doing fresh things and trying new things and, and putting people in different situations and I mean that's that's what I feel like we, we bring to the table it's just that we're gonna we're gonna make you uncomfortable and we're gonna see how you deal with it you know, that's what we like and I like that make you uncomfortable okay so at what level do you think players are appropriate to join this institute is this an elementary kid this is a high school kid, is it a, a college soccer player, or is this just somebody who's interested in soccer and has the skills? Who, who can be a part of this? So for us, it's, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's someone that's serious about the sport. It's someone that's very serious about the sport. They're passionate about it. They, they want to develop themselves. They want to take themselves to the next level. That's it's a big thing for us, because when we, when we have our tryout for our elite camp, um, we look at character. Character is a big thing for us. So we, you know, we ask around about the kid, you know, how is he in training? You know, how does he do? Um, how, does, how does she handle these types of situations? All that kind of stuff. It's, it's a lot of mentality based. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're 10 years old or 17 years old and you're about to go to college, whatever it is. Um, you know, if you have the right mentality, we'd love to have you. 
And one thing that we do, and, and this is this is actually something that you know you don't really see, not just not just in this area, but uh, around the world, uh, when it comes to camps and training programs, uh, people like to do it all in all, meaning seven year old shows up, nineteen year old shows up. Let's just figure out from there. Yeah. We're not looking at it that way. We're looking at it. Um, there's two different things, and and you know I'm not sure if I'm using the correct terms, but it will make sense. One is the physical age, you know, and one is the player development age. Physical age is that you are 16 years old, so you should be playing with the 16 year olds. We say that the player development age, you may be 16 year old, but you are as good as an 18 year old. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bump you up to an 18 year old uh, program unit. Yeah. So you're going to practice, play and compete with 18 year olds because that's your appropriate player developmental age, even though you are 16 years old. I don't know if that makes sense. Well, it makes sense because you have the proper skills, so why should we be holding you back exactly. simply right. because of your age? Right? And maybe you have the character as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a big deal. Sean, I'm, I'm happy that Sean brought it up because that's a big deal for us. That's a big deal for us. One thing that we can learn from the leading nations of, of, of the world in soccer is that their recruitment, their uh, selection process is, is, is focusing on character and not only just how good you are with the ball, how bad do you want it, how motivated you are, how much do you spend time on uh, improving your mental part of the game. That is very important. So how do you define a tryout? How does a tryout work? If I'm interested, what are the steps I have to go through to join? Well, so we, we have a registration process. We take a look at the names, um, and then we, we try to attend practices before the tryout. We try to attend practices, and we try to be familiar with all the players that, that want to base stuff. It's, it's things that we would do in an actual session uh, for a new era. Um, so it's, you know, it's passing drills, it's, you know, it's, it's dribbling type things, it's, it's a lot of different um, categories that we can kind of fall into and then obviously you know one of the one of the main things we use our criteria for is just gameplay you know because that's when you can actually see a player uh, you know show themselves and, and, and see what they're all about. In the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment. We look for habits, we look for training habits, that's why we, we, we simply down, try, try the process is really simple but in that real simplicity you can find the character really well so that's what we're looking for. Okay, all right. Now, if you can think back, what are some of the benefits of taking this program? What are, what are things that kids have told you that they got out of joining you guys, getting out there on the field and really training this elite program as compared to what they usually get at their high school environment or at the park with their friends? What are the benefits? See, doing? it's funny because because we are not out there for pleasing people. It's actually, that's, that's one of our, that's one of our uh, main um, you know, focal point when we are coaching. We are both uh, really harsh. Outsiders would say that we are really harsh. We are looking back at the videos that we take of ourselves, looking at how we coach, so we can get better at coaching. And yeah, we are harsh. We are we are actually really rigid sometimes. You know, in the sense that we want a lot from our players. We are really straight up with them. Um, despite of that, um, one of the most common feedback that we got is that kids wanted to come back to practice more than they want to come back to any other practices. And that is. I think, I was really surprised by it because I thought that they would say like, okay, this was the most challenging camp, which they also say, but the most common one was that they had so much fun that they want to come back. And that is, that is just another feedback for us that our style is working. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, uh, 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 babying kids uh, in a soccer environment uh, to make them better. We actually have to be harsh. We actually have to be brutally honest sometimes. And we have to be, you know, stepping in when 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 uh, the situation arises. Completely agree. When when kids are excited to come to practice every night, and they're not looking at it like, oh, I gotta practice because I mean, tomorrow I gotta get out there on the field. Yeah. Oh, okay. As a kid, as a kid, I just wanted to play games. You yeah. know, like that, that's that's what it was. We we love playing games, but if you can get someone excited to come to practice and all about it, then you have to be, you know, headed in the right direction in, in that front. Honestly, I, I actually really, really like the sound of everything that I'm hearing. It's it's Better. so different. It's different from what I'm used to. I don't know what I expected you guys to say, but it was not that. I like this. So that's New Era Soccer Institute. Now, I see this shirt that you have yeah. on, as a matter of fact. It's actually a jersey. My mistake. What is what is that about? So, yeah, um, it, it was actually a surprise for us because oh, we like to look good. We always say that. We like to look good. So when we went out to, to practice, us coaches... Because it's not only me and me and him. We have the staff that is working with us, and we wanted to make sure that you know we give the necessary gear to our coaches so they can look good, we can look good, and we can look as a united front managing this entire um, uh, organization. And 
kids showed up and they're like, what are you guys wearing? Why, why are you guys wearing that? And can I get one? And Sean, Sean, that was a great businessman idea from, from Sean. Cause this he was right. like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sean was like, why, why don't we, why don't we make it available for them? Yeah. If they want to, if they want to get it, let's, let's, let's use it to our benefit. And from now on, you know, they can buy gear from us. It really, it really is, is really successful. And, you know, one thing that, that, um, the idea came with it is that let's not be, uh, general and again, typical with it. Uh, so we, for example, this one, is, we are a soccer institute, right? But this is a, a baseball jersey, kind of, baseball shirt, style, baseball style shirt. We, we have baseball jersey, which is our most popular one. So we kind of do multiple things in a little unique way, just like how we do it on the soccer field. We want to do this gear, gear apparel thing a little bit differently as well. Yeah, we don't, we don't know if it's weird or not, but we, we enjoy being a little bit different, wow, a little yeah. bit, you know, like a little bit, a little bit out there. So, um, you know, it's actually hit off with some of our friends that aren't even involved in the, you know, in the New Era Soccer Institute. They just they, they see the logo. They're like, man, I can put any name on the back if I, that I want, and I've been ordering them up, and it's been it's been fantastic. I like it. Honestly, it gives you a sense of pride. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah absolutely. Playing does. with you guys and getting better as a way better soccer player at the same time, I've seen pretty dope looking yeah, absolutely. gear to walk around with. And people yeah. are asking me about it. Like, what do you do with that soccer institute? I'm like, guys, gotta get you a jersey. Yeah, yeah we, 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 we got, we got. Well, first you gotta come. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you gotta come. Sure. You gotta yeah, join. Yeah, you gotta absolutely. become a way better soccer player, yeah, and then there you, you can rock the shirt that I have on. <laughs> but I won't say no if you just want a shirt. I need to regardless. And there's a shirt. You have shirts, jerseys, sweatshirts. Uh, yeah, there are hoodies. There are um, we we're working on hats, uh, yeah, beanies, baseball caps, uh, the bucket hats. You know. Yeah, we got rain jackets, which is a big thing. Rain jacket is a big thing in yeah. soccer, so we have we have a rain jacket um, as well. We have a coaching jacket, like a longer one. Uh, we have the base watchers that we just talked about. I mean, we have we have so many the core zips. We have we have a lot of yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now I'm here. You have the program and you have the apparel as well. Is there anything more that you're you're planning to do? What does the future look like for this institution? Well, if we if we if we want to go really far, um, you know, one once again going back to the point where I made in the beginning is the one stop shop kind of deal. Um, a lot of things are coming. In. For example, what one thing that we're working on, and, and there's going to be an announcement hopefully soon, we're working on an actual pro player uh, to have a you know partnership with, um, and we're looking at expanding that front too. So we not only want to be you know, youth soccer, um, some, uh, an organization that is catering to a youth soccer uh, a population. However, that's not be our main focus. Uh, we want to expand a little bit, see how, where we can go. Um, one thing that, you know, long-term plan would be is, uh, you know, giving an overall package to any player that steps in. Once again, you know, maybe, maybe a partnership, we are working on a partnership with a sports psychologist, um, maybe a partnership with a marketing agency. Maybe a, a partnership with somebody who is looking for, you know, um, um, a personal trainer, nutritionist, uh, looking for sports agent. To, to build up a portfolio within, that's why it's called New Air Soccer Institute. It's not, it's, not, it's not called New Air Soccer Academy, how everybody else calls their organization. It's an institute. It is more than that. It is not only training. However, the first step and the initial step, what you're seeing right now, it is a training program. And it is what it's always going to be. In, in, the, in its core. However, we are not afraid of going uh, and expanding, but that's down the line. That's, uh, that's, not, that's not now. Okay, and I can't wait for that either. Because I envision, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but once you're in college, you're doing, say, soccer, it is all that. You do learn about nutrition, you do do right. all these workouts and everything, and I think it's really cool that at a high school level, elementary level, whatever, you can get access to this type of stuff, because what you eat is important. Yeah, right? absolutely. The talk no, the absolutely. Field is important. It'll be really cool that you guys have a place where you actually ingrain these beautiful ideas into these people's minds so that yeah. they're amazing off the field and on the field and it really affects their development. And yeah, it's not just random that we call our, our program elite program, the first very first program that we started elite. The reason why it's elite because an elite player is not only showing up and being the best player, eating well. That player is knowing where it's going, knowing, having a goal, uh, aware of himself as, 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 a, as a student of the game. Not only just an athlete. Proper amount of sleep, all that kind of stuff. It's, I mean, there's so many pieces that go into you performing at a higher level um, that you know a lot of kids just don't think about. It's all the time. Like, did you did you get six to eight hours of sleep? Yeah. Did you eat the right thing? Did you drink enough water? Like, it's, it's things that guys don't think about, and minor things, but it's important. Yeah. Yeah, it's important for sure. But you guys said you're trying to partner with a professional athlete, but I mean, you don't play play college soccer. I'm counting you guys as a professional athlete. I feel like it takes a lot to be a college soccer, right? 
there's a lot to it, a lot to make it on the team. We won't bring back it, it, it I'm be, sitting here, I'm like, I think these guys count. Like, honestly, I'm like, yeah, it would definitely be a reach to call us yeah. professionals. Um, you know, we, we loved it here at ODU, yeah. and, and you've probably been to a soccer game before. You yeah. know how the atmosphere is, and uh, we're both very passionate. Um, you know, and it, it's a fantastic environment. Um, but that that professional level is a step that neither one of us, you know, took, and you know. It'd be awesome to partner with a, yeah. someone that you know has that next level experience that can come talk to our kids and, and tell them what the next level is about. Because you know, as as much as we've heard from it, it's different when you're hearing from someone that's yeah. right right now. Now. Yeah. Yeah. And my dad that we might have not been a professional soccer player, but it's it's not you know out of the line to go and be a professional coach one day. So that's that's I know that both of our goals are. So that's true. That's, that's why true. we are fighting for every day. Okay. Okay. Now one of my final questions is going to be. If I join this program and I am a part of something else, say in my local school, my local community, say there is a club that I'm part of, right. how would you recommend that I balance both? Is, do you guys have sessions only in the summer? Do you have during the school year sessions? How would I balance both? How would I perform in yours and in another at the same time? All right, so since since he and I both coach for Beach FC and we both coach for Norview High School, um, obviously those are two seasons that are pretty filled up. And so a lot of times, you know, but we realize that you know we can't we can't run our stuff during the fall. We can't run our stuff during the spring. So it's it's an off season you know training regimen, um, and it's you know it's it's for kids that are trying to step into the next level and kids that are you know wanting to push their game to new heights and things like that. So um, we're we're very welcoming. Um, obviously, the trial process is a little intimidating, but um, you know it doesn't matter what club you're coming from. It doesn't matter what high school, whatever it is. You know we we'd like you to come out and we'd like to see you know kind of what you're about, but. As far as like the in-season training stuff, um, we'll do individual lessons here and there. Um, but uh, you know, for the most part, it's you know summer and then the winter off season for us. Yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't you know that's that's right now. Once again, that is right now. We are in the initial phase of our organization. Uh, as Sean mentioned, we do individual sessions. So over the over over the fall and the spring, when kids are busy, they still find time. Those elite players still looking for opportunity to train, and they offer that too. So that might not be our main focus, but it's part of our portfolio. We have individual sessions. Sean is a goalkeeper. Um, I would say the best goalkeeper in the area. So if anybody wants to learn from the best goalkeeper in the area, that will come to New Era's Hockey Institute because Sean is here. So we will not be saying that, hey, we're not going to take you in. No, we do take you in, even though if it's not our part of our program or part of our camp, we will do individual personalized sessions. And also, one of the important things is, as I didn't mention, is coaching education. That uh, we are looking for, um, you know, not only getting better ourselves, but get those people who we trust and we work with, getting them better as well. Uh, we have a, we have goalkeeping coaches who are learning from Sean, Sean mentoring them to be as well as good as as, as he is. I am trying to find those people who want to work with me and get better together. So we are building that cohesion with other people and other colleagues. And individual sessions come into place when we're talking about that. Those next generation people are hungry and ready to coach for us. Okay. And they are doing our quality work. They are doing their work based on our curriculum. So there is opportunity for us to connect in all year round. However, our main focus is in the winter and the summer. Right now, except for just players, you are, are you looking to expand the team? Would you like people that are maybe good at coaching to try to join? Are you, are you looking for any more or are you pretty much solidified on the institute itself and now you're looking for players to join how's it working it takes a lot for us you know we, we are very uh particular with who we who we hire and who we put our names on um and, and things like that so it's you know it's not it's not really a uh you know like an open like hey come come join us but um when we see someone and, and we really like what they do and when we talk to them and we get a feel for who they are then we'll bring them in um but you know right now it's it's uh it's something that he and i are kind of handling on our own, kind of managing that, that process right now. That's really interesting. Okay. Now, where are these sessions held by any chance? So, for the individual sessions, we cater to you. You know, if, 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 there's, if you're Norfolk-based, we'll find somewhere around here where we can you know, provide you with the training you need. If you're Virginia Beach, we'll, we'll sort that out too, no problems. Um, our elite camp, we've done it at Hampton Road Soccer Complex uh, in the winter, and that's where it'll be this summer. Um, our Puskas Foundation, Soccer Lab, uh, that one will be in Norfolk and Virginia Beach. Uh, we'll be going at St. Patrick's and George Williams Park. Yeah, Williams Park. Yeah. Park. Yeah. yeah. Might have been George. George Williams? I think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, yeah. all right, understood. Now, where can I reach you? Is there a phone number, a website? Yeah, yeah, we have a website, and actually, that's one name that we need to drop here. Shout out to Harry Gillespie mm -hmm. because he's uh, one of our best friends, and he's the one who developed the website, and he's he's also a soccer coach. You know, in in my belief, he's the best uh, youth soccer coach under U thirteen, oh, okay. maybe above as well. So he's 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 an extremely good guy, but he's also an IT guy. So he developed our website, and our website looking great. So it's www.newerasocceinstitute.com, and uh, we have our social media up there, and and you can find our email. So you can go ahead and, and find us there. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Obviously, thank Thanks you for explaining to us what New Era Soccer Institute is, what it is you do, how it is we join, and exactly where we can contact you from. Thank, thank you, you so much for your time. Thanks, Roger. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Roger.